Re 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 reconvene from closed session at 628. Jennifer, there's uh, shown that all seven board members are present. <clears throat> I'd like to welcome all of y'all here tonight. Uh, we've got a very special meeting tonight. We recognize some of our employees, which is always a great honor. We always start our meeting with a prayer and a pledge. The prayer by Trustee Palmer and the pledges by Trustee Landon. Would you bow your heads with me? Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this opportunity to honor and uh, recognize these incredible professionals and um, servants of yours who have uh, given their heart and love our children, Lord. And we are so blessed to have a district full of these incredible people and families that uh, come along with them, Lord. We thank you for our administrators, for the opportunity to serve you. We ask for blessings over our community as we guide um, and direct um, future events, and we ask all these things in your precious Son's name. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The first item of recognition is the Santee family here tonight. How many people of the Santee family are here? You want to come on up here and uh, kind of stand with a smile on your face? Yes. All right. <laughs> I appreciate Where you, I uh, stand? just standing right there. You, you look real good, and uh, uh, you represent the family. Yes, and this sir. this gentleman over here is Willie Santee. Uh, we I've been uh, visiting with him over the last month or so, and I appreciate you, and I appreciate your family, uh, the entire family, uh, and the community is a, a great benefit to you and your family. Uh, the school district has just purchased part of uh, the Santee family land to rebuild Jones Elementary School. So thank you. <laughs> Most recently, Willie has mentioned what an honor it is to have a school built on the family property. And so we will take care of the place. We're going to put a beautiful school up there, and we're going to be good neighbors to you. I can assure you that. And if the kids start screaming and yelling too much, it's only because they're having fun. Don't forget that. <laughs> and when kids are happy, everybody's happy. That's true. All right. So I appreciate you very much uh, for being here tonight. And what I would like to do is maybe take a picture wherever Miss Cossack says uh, with you uh, and, the, and the board of trustees and me. And so we're going to take this picture. We're going to put it in the newspaper. And we're going to uh, show our appreciation to the, you there in the newspaper as well. So, Ms. Cossack, let us know where we need to be. Maybe five on this, and then a few. Yeah, they uh, five on the, That's on the, the five on the I want to get the stand up here. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? No, we'll cut the ribbon over at the school whenever we have the school bill. Oh, yeah. All the shots. That's my good side. Why don't y'all shake some hands? Oh. Okay. 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 Also, before you leave, Willie, uh, he, he, he made a real good point about uh, ribbon cutting and things like that. A, a basic timeline that we're going to uh, try to work with is uh, they will have uh, most of their equipment off of the land by the 31st of this month. And somewhere uh, uh, at our next board meeting in April, uh, we'll vote on a contractor uh, that we will hire to do the building. And so the board will approve that. And so shortly after that, 
uh, as quick as that contractor can mobilize, we'll start moving dirt on that land. And our goal is, is to try to uh, be moving dirt before May. And so that uh, 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 event you're talking about, with uh, when we'll have what we call a groundbreaking, uh, that will be sometime in April. Uh, and we'll notify you and we'll notify everybody else when we're going to have that groundbreaking and uh, we'll go from there. And then our plan is, is to open that school in the fall, uh, in, in August, uh, when we start school in 2017. All right? Well, so that's the deal. Okay. One more thing, Mr. Willie, I'm running for mayor for the all right, Mrs. Barron, will you please please come up to the uh, podium and talk to us about our next set of recognitions? I gladly will. I'm gonna do the long week around tonight. If that's okay. Miss Barron is our curriculum director for Waller ISD and also our uh, program for federal programs director. So we appreciate everything you do and have done for us. This is one of the most exciting nights of our year. And so I'm just honored to stand up in front of everyone. Um, I have a quote that I received on a plaque when I did my student teaching um, a long time ago. Um, and it goes like this. The mediocre teacher tells, the good teacher explains, the superior teacher demonstrates, and the great teacher inspires. Tonight, Waller ISD recognizes the great staff members that have been selected by their colleagues on their campus as our support staff of the year, our rookies of the year, and our teachers of the year. Our rookies of the year are those individuals that have only been in their first or second year of teaching. Our teachers of the year are those individuals who are in their third year and greater within the field of education. When we look at what we have, we believe we have the best of the best sitting in front of us tonight those who are the glue that hold our schools together, those who inspire and truly bring out the best in our kids every day within our classroom. When we look at our program and our opportunities tonight, we have three different really awards that are being recognized. Um, two of them are at the local level, um, our support staff of the year. And as some of you might notice, this is our first year to bring that to a district recognition like this. And we are so excited to have those individuals here to recognize them. Um, I say they're the right hand, the left hand, the right foot, the left foot of every campus that keeps a campus rolling and going. Um, our Rookie of the Year, again, is another local recognition that Waller ISD does. Um, and that's something because we want to highlight those rock stars that are superstars in their first and second year of teaching. And we hope it motivates them to continue growing in the field of education and staying in the field of education as well. And then when we get to our Teachers of the Year, um, those are, are, I call it our superstars. Um, they're the ones that have been selected by their colleagues in and out daily doing what has to be done for those kids and going above and beyond what has to be done for those kids. Those teachers within that category, those eight teachers, um, we will select tonight a district teacher of the year, elementary and one secondary. Um, those individuals will go on to region four to represent Waller ISD at another level. And then hopefully we win at region four. Um, and then those individuals go on to the state competition. And when they win at the state competition, hear that when they win, when they win at the state competition, then they do have the opportunity to compete at a national level as well, to be the national teacher of the year. So this is the very beginning of that process of those individuals coming together in it. Um, I am so proud to stand up here in front of you tonight uh, to be a small part of the recognition. Um, here in just a minute, we're going to call up each campus principal to come up and say what I say is a few short words um, about each person. If they could stand up here and talk forever, they would about each and every person. We have 24 individuals here that we're recognizing tonight. They could stand here and say words, paragraph, I, I mean research papers about individuals. Um, but I can tell, honestly tell you, I limited them to the top three things um, for, the, for the sake of time tonight. So could they talk forever? Yes, they could. Will they talk forever? No, they won't. Um, and so we, we keep it that way just so we can keep the process going as well. Um, and so when they come up, what we're going to give them tonight, if you're in the back, if you don't see it, um, we have a wonderful acrylic award that we're going to give every recipient tonight. We also have a personal thank you from their campus administrator to that individual, telling them how special they are and what a difference they make on their campus. 
And then finally, we have a shirt for them from Waller ISD as well, so they can work proudly on their Spirit Day Friday, saying that they are the campus support staff of the year, the campus rookie of the year, or the campus teacher of the year, because that is a great accomplishment to be any one of those three. Um, we also have Bree McCall with us. She'll come up here in just a minute with Brazos Valley Schools Credit Union. She has another uh, gift that she's going to give every participant in our program tonight, as in addition to what their award is by itself. So at this time, I would like to call up Melissa Crosby from Field Store Elementary um, to begin our recognition of our incredible staff members. Melissa? Thank you. So I would first like to call up my support staff member of the year, Miss Mindy Lightfoot. So Mindy has Waller ISD children, and I feel blessed, and my campus was blessed by being able to bring her to the district this year. So she started with us as a new Waller ISD staff member, and here she stands before you today. She has revamped our Field Store Library and made it truly the heart of our campus, and our children look forward to hearing her voice read to them on a daily basis. And Mindy, thank you. Now for our Rookie of the Year, Ms. Desiree Frosto. So tonight I introduce to you a 2009 graduate of Waller High School. So she's a product of Waller ISD. Congratulations to our district um, for their investment in this young lady. She came to our campus as a paraprofessional. She has worked to extend her studies into her graduate program, and she is teaching pre-K, and she is amazing with our English and bilingual students on our campus. And again, we are blessed by another staff member. And she takes care of the littlest hearts on our campus. And we are grateful for her. I also want to have her mom wave at you. Ms. Frosto is here to support Desiree tonight. So mom, thank you for coming tonight. And now I would like to introduce to you our Teacher of the Year, Ms. Leisha Alexander. She has her husband, Philip, here, and Grace and Bo. Students, you guys wave. All right. There's her family here to support her tonight. Thank you for that. I know she puts in a lot of hours. And um, Leisha has been at Fieldster Elementary School for nine years. She decided to um, take a look around the state there for a year, and she spent some time in Corpus and Navasota, and we were able to convince her to come back home. And I think she wanted to be home with us as well. She has revamped our title math program. She's doing some push-in. She serves our teachers in any down moment that she has in innovative and creative ways. And I have not seen the dedication and commitment to a school family like Leisha Alexander brings to Field Store. So congratulations, Leisha. I now introduce to you the principal from Holloman Elementary School, Mr. Skinner. Good evening. I cannot tell you how proud I am here today to get to award these uh, three ladies that are here before us. And I'm going to start with our support staff of the year, Miss Joyce Galway. I know her granddaughter, uh, uh, CJ Dunn, is here. If you'd wave at us. Thank you for coming. If you don't know Miss Joyce, I would be surprised because <laughs> I'm not sure there's anybody in Waller that does it. If there was a billboard for Holloman, it would definitely be her face on the billboard, not mine. She is the face of Holloman. She's really the heart of Holloman, too. She knows everybody, knows their grandkids, knows their children. She knows everything about it. The other thing is, it's rumored that she never goes home. She is the first one there in the morning. She's the last one there at night. Uh, she is an incredible hard worker. There's not money that can buy what she does for our school. She knows everybody that comes in. She's always got a smile on her face. Uh, and the other thing you got to know, she bleeds maroon. I don't know if, if it's Waller first or Holloman first, because I mentioned that Turlington had a nice campus, and I thought she was going to cut me in two, because Holloman is it for her, and Waller is it for her, and I could not be more proud to be able to work with her each day. She is incredible. Thank you, Joyce, for the work that you do. Our Rookie of the Year is Miss Melanie Stone. Her husband, Kyle, is here. Her son, Reed, and her daughter, Kinley. I know her mom, Miss Kathy Sims, is here also. 
And I think she had some more relatives here. Y'all can all wave at us. I appreciate you coming out and supporting Miss Stone. Miss Stone teaches pre-K, and I'm not sure if you have ever been around not one sweet, wonderful four-year-old child, but if you've ever been around 20 uh, four-year-old children, sometimes it's like herding cats, right? Lots of energy, not necessarily a lot of skill yet. So awesome job that she does, incredibly caring with those kids because they've never been with anybody else but their mom. So you are truly, even older uh, teachers sometimes, older grades are like mothers, but when you're a pre-K teacher, I mean, you really are like that second mom and she truly is, she is truly caring. She is very young as you can see, but also she's worked at Holloman in different things. So we had to take a double take to remember that she was a rookie, honestly, because she does such a good job. She's so professional in what she does and she really serves our children awesome in, in pre-K. So we're proud to have her as our rookie of the year this year. All right, and last but not least, our Teacher of the Year this year is Miss Sharon Kadurka. Her husband, Daryl, is here. Way best, Daryl. Daryl and his other brother, Daryl, couldn't make it, but Miss, Miss Daryl made it. The first thing you got to know about Sharon is that she's a Longhorn married to an Aggie, and so that tells you a little bit about Sharon right there. She came to Holloman, and it was supposed to just be a part-time job, and believe it or not, she has been at Holloman longer than Miss Joyce has, so that tells you something about Sharon. She came when she was about two or three years old and started working. Uh, you know something else about her, man, you talk about a heart for kids. You know that when you are good in math, and she is incredible in math, you can basically write your own ticket. In case you don't know, engineers usually make a little bit more than title math people. And without a doubt, I truly believe Sharon could do anything in the math field she got good and ready to do. But instead of going after the money, her husband gets to make the money for her. But instead of going after the money, she has chosen to give her life to children. And she you would not believe the leaps and bounds that she has poured into our children through Think Through Math and supporting that program. She makes us kiss all kind of wild beasts for kiss the bulldog or kiss the snake and for box tops to, set, to raise money for our school. She is an incredible professional, an incredible teacher, and I could not be more proud that she's our Teacher of the Year next, this year. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm Carol Bates from Jones Elementary, and it is my privilege to, first of all, introduce you to my staff member of the year, Maria Guerrero. Does she have any, uh, her husband, George, are you here? There's George. George didn't want to raise his hand. I want to tell you one thing about uh, Miss Guerrero here. She's fabulous. I said, what's the one word that would describe you? She said, fabulous. But I'm going to tell you, she's on <laughs> That's what she said. And we have to say it. If we don't say it, we're in trouble. So she's fabulous and she's dedicated. And whatever you need, she can get it for you. Somebody came in with a burn one day, a teacher. And she said, I have something. I have something. I got it from Mexico. And it's a cream. And it's old. It's out of date. But it works. <laughs> She went and got that cream and it worked. It worked. So if you need it, she can do it for you. She's awesome. Thank you so much, Maria. And now for my rookie of the year. This is Miss Anzaldua, Selena Anzaldua. Miss An Miss Sweet Anzaldua here. Her husband is here, Alex. There he is. That's Alex. And um, the first thing I want to say, Miss Ansel Dewey is about to be a new mom. She's going to be a first time. Mom. So I ask the questions, are you coming back next year, Miss Ansel? <laughs> you know, new moms want to stay at home. So I don't want to put the pressure on her right now. But she's, a, <laughs> she's an awesome, awesome teacher. She teaches first grade bilingual and her kids are Fabulous, Miss Maria, just like you are. Uh, this young lady here, she has a saying. It goes, good, better, best. Never let it rest until your good is better and your better is your best. And that is absolutely what Miss Angel is. Thank you for gracing us with you. And now for our teacher of the year in this beautiful orange, Miss Amanda Thompson. 
Amanda's here. Her, her husband is here. Edric, he's videotaping everything. Edric, <laughs> and then her mom and dad, Mr. and Mrs. Thompson, and her daughter. So thank you all for coming in support of Amanda. Amanda here was our, well, she first started off as an observer at Jones. Then she moved to a teacher. Then she moved to Rookie of the Year. She may have been Rookie of the Year twice. And now she's Teacher of the Year. What a progression. What a progression. <laughs> <laughs> so this young lady here is a fourth grade language arts reading teacher, and she does a phenomenal job. And I invite everybody out to her room. They'll be there tomorrow, Amanda. <laughs> They'll be there tomorrow. But um, Amanda here has a saying that's 80-20. 80% 80 students, 20% her. Amanda considers herself a facilitator of learning. The more she allows the children to shine, the more they learn. Amanda believes that wholeheartedly. So thank you, Amanda. Thank you. And now we have Robert Schroed, Andy Davis. I am pleased to introduce you to our support staff person of the year, Ms. Elva Purdy, instructional paraprofessional. And we at Robert Schroed, we're not sure that Ms. Purdy ever sleeps. <laughs> she volunteers her time every morning to greet our students on the way to breakfast. She stays and works in the after school program too, so she's always at Robert Schroed. Anything asked of her, she does with a simple, with a smile and a positive attitude. She's a go-to person. Everyone on the campus knows that Ms. Purdy is one to be counted on, and she is loved by all. And she's um, joined here by her family, her mom, and her sister-in-law, and her brother, and her <laughs> Next, I have our Rookie of the Year, Shakinia Hines. this forever because she is a natural. Her classroom environment is warm and engaging. Her kids love being there and, le and learning is always happening. Relationships don't just happen in her room only. They happen in across the entire campus and students truly know and love her. She's a true asset to the staff and the team player and she's a forward thinker. She is loved and valued by the entire Robert Short Elementary team. Watch this girl. She's going to do great things to Robert and Waller and Robert Trent Elementary. She's joined by her mom and her mom's friend and her best friend. And finally, our Teacher of the Year, Michelle Skiba. Every student who walks in our door. As the first grade team leader, she works to make sure all the, students, all the needs of her students are met. This is her first year as a team leader, but she makes it look like she's been doing it forever. She's competitive. She's always looking for ways to grow and make her class, first grade, and our school even better. And this one is one to watch as well. So she's going to do great things in Waller ISD, and she's already doing them at Robert Jordan. I'm so proud of her. And she's doing all kinds of virtual. She's joined by her husband and her mom. Wendy Pepper, Turlington Elementary. Good evening. All right, I'm Wendy Pepper from Turlington Elementary, and I'd like to start with um, sorry, our support staff of the year, Charlie Cook. Come on up. say what Charlie's role is because she has about 77 roles. She starts her day um, helping um, some kids do fast forward and then she goes into the PPCD classroom for most of the morning and then she ends as our science lab teacher. So she um, does all of that with that beautiful smile. She's very flexible. Um, she's very competitive. You may have seen her on a donkey playing basketball. Yes. Um, yes. <laughs> um, and she's just the heart of the school. She loves kids and kids love her. They see eye to eye. They, um, <laughs> 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 you shouldn't take that for granted. I'm just <laughs> no, we love Charlie. Um, we are excited because she actually changed her major. She was going to be a nurse, and now she's going to be a teacher. So we're just waiting to hire her to be a teacher soon. So congratulations. <laughs> All right, next is Mrs. Bonton. Come on up here, Ashley. Ashley's 
here tonight, and she's supported by her mom. I don't know where your mom is. There she is. Hi, mom. Hey, mom. Hey. Ashley is our PPCD teacher. She's a first year um, teacher. She's our rookie of the year. Um, she was in the PPCD classroom <coughs> last year as just a long term sub. And then I arm wrestled her, I won, and I hired her. And she's here now every single day. And I mean that. She works. She's the first one there. She's the last one to leave. And yes, I do have to let her in on the weekends. She is a hard, hard worker. And she loves those kids. I learn so much from her every day that I go home and do my own children. Because she's just that good. She's um, structured, but she's so tender. And I say that word because it's truly her. She's a tender-hearted person. Um, and she loves those kids with all of her heart, and they know it. Um, and the parents love her. So we're glad to have Ashley at our campus on Turlington as our rookie of the year. All right. And last, Mrs. Conklin. Come on up. Mrs. Conklin has a row here. Her husband, Ben, is over here, and her parents, Sally and Dennis, and her two daughters that go to Turlington. Over there, way. <laughs> right, All right. So let me tell you about Miss Conklin. She's our fourth grade team leader. She is an English language arts teacher, and she is amazing. And when I say that, it's because I, I love to go in her room. I start as doing it with as doing an observation, and I forget while I'm in there because I like put everything aside, and I'm just like a kid. I'm like answering questions and and listening to her read, and she doesn't waste a second. She doesn't waste a second of her day. She makes every second count. Um, she has taken on some tough kids this year just because she wanted to. Give them to me. Let me have them. Let me see what I can do. And she means that, and she has turned them around. Her parents love her. Um, not those parents love her, but our school parents <laughs> love her, too. Uh, the teachers, I've heard this several times this year from random teachers. When I grow up, I want to be a Miss Conklin. So that's an honor. I will tell you, she's in the running for the HEB um, Excellence in Educator Award. She was nominated for that, and we find that out in May. Right. All right, and at this time, we're going to have our elementary um, crew, if you'll go through and, and shake hands with our school board, and we'll get you out here for pictures, and then secondary is going to take over. So, Ms. Fletcher, if you'll come right up. <laughs> She was Christy Knapphide back then, and we started at Jones together. Um, and so this year when I moved to Schultz, I was blessed to have her rejoin me um, as our campus secretary. And she takes care of everybody, um, from the students to the teachers, to making sure that I eat lunch sometimes. Um, but she is all over the place. I don't know how she keeps going. Um, but everybody also knows they can come to her when they need something or they're trying to figure out how to handle a situation. Um, and so we are truly blessed to have Christy this year um, and working forward at Schultz Junior High and um, working with all of our staff and students. So this is Miss Christy McDonald and our husband Keith is here in the back. He'll wait. Keith. All right. Um, he's a board <laughs> Next, we have Mr. Jacob Elbert as our Rookie of the Year for Schultz Junior High. And he is supported by his wife. 
wife Brittany and baby Colby, um, and his mother-in-law and father-in-law Shauna and Dallas Harden. So thank you for being here to support them. Um, Jacob is just amazing. He embraces technology. He embraces engaging students and making sure his classroom is exciting and looking forward to. And so he does GT for us. Um, and so I went in and kids were doing robotics and building machines and they were just all on target and all excited about what they were creating and couldn't wait to share with me what they were doing. But he also introduced them to the 3D printer. Um, and so they were able to design some pieces and work on the 3D printer on our campus. Um, but when Mr. T and them came to talk to the kids about his, um, his award, you know, the one thing that stood out with me was that the kids said that he was tolerant, nice, strict, but fun. And so they knew that they were going to come to his class and they were going to learn, but they were going to enjoy it at the same time. And so we want to thank Mr. Elbert for it. He teaches sixth and seventh grade science on our campus, works on GT, and is always there to bounce ideas off of. And so thank you for taking care of our students in Schultz Junior High. This is uh, Ms. Mindy Zamarippa, and she is here with her husband, Robert, and her kids, Hope, Faith, and oh, Matthew. Where are you at? There you go. Sorry. <laughs> Wave. Um, and so they are all a blessing to Schultz Junior High. All three of her children are currently there with us. Um, but Ms. Zamarippa was one of the first people um, I met this summer, um, and she's just a wealth of knowledge, and she is our special ed inclusion teacher but she has a heart for all kids on our campus. And so when we started down, look, started looking at our kids and what their needs were, she was the first one to jump in and say, give me a benchmarking kit, call somebody to help me, let's figure out the big picture for Schultz Junior High, not just her special ed population. And so the thing about Ms. Zamarippa is she's always willing to dive in, jump in, support, incentives for our kids, make sure that they know they're growing, um, whether it's through fast forward or just what they're doing in the classroom. But co-teaching, with inclusion is just an amazing concept, and she is a master at it. Um, it has formed some great working relationships with the teachers that she works with. And so if you would like to see what that model looks like, I invite you into her, her world, um, because she truly does have a heart for all kids, but also does an amazing job working with our staff to ensure that they are all successful. So thank you. Mr. Eric Meldahl for Waller Junior High. It's my pleasure to uh, to announce and, and to celebrate the Educators of the Year for Waller Junior High. First up is our support staff member of the year, Mrs. Frances Merchant, who <laughs> <laughs> who is spending her 17th year here at Waller Junior High. Uh, helping us run this school, and who am I kidding? Running that school. <laughs> she is. She's not only the the heartbeat, but she's also the backbone of Walter Junior High. Um, there's there's no way I'd even try, even coming to work if I didn't think she was going to be there at least a, at least most of the time. Kevin, her husband, is is there in the back. They have uh, children and grandchildren who are Waller. Waller, either former Waller students and, and one current. Uh, there are three children: <coughs> Lindy, uh, Tara, and Cody have all graduated from, from Waller High School, and then she has to, they have three grandchildren, uh, Bentley, Beckley, and they have a first grader, second, second grader at Holloman, Caden. Francis Merchant. All right. Next, it's my pleasure to introduce to you our Rookie Teacher of the Year, Ms. Evelyn Marino. This is Evelyn's first year as a teacher, first year at Waller Junior High, first year as a teacher. She spent two years previously at Fieldstore Elementary as a life skills paraprofessional. And so uh, we, we were privileged to, to be able to offer her a position. Uh, and Melissa was kind enough to let her join us, and, so, and it's been a wonderful match. Uh, Evelyn's a true co-teacher. Uh, she, she is she's an in-class support teacher for, for our special ed program, but she is the definition of co-teaching. She, she, she and the, the regular ed teacher form wonderful partnerships, 
and uh, in, in this this short seven or eight months she's been with us uh, has made a difference in each and every core area of all three grade levels and it's exciting to think about <laughs> your increased presence on the Walter Junior High campus. Ms. Evelyn Marina. Mrs. Sarah Binger, one of our science teachers, sixth and seventh grade science, is our teacher of the year at Waller <laughs> Junior High. Uh -huh. Sarah is joined tonight by her husband Clint and their two sons, Jack and Ryan. They're in the back. Oh, okay. <laughs> that must be Ryan. <laughs> we, we like to say that, that we want to we want every each and every day to add value. Uh, to, to the students at Waller Junior High. Uh, Sarah is an example of adding value to the campus of Waller Junior High. Uh, she's, uh, she's in her 10th year teaching. She spent the first eight at another district, and uh, we've had her now for two years. We've been blessed to have her at Waller Junior High. She leads our science department. She's the instructional leadership team uh, representative for science, uh, and she also is uh, instrumental in revamping our student council. Our student council presence on campus and throughout the district is, is at a place I've never seen it before, and that's, uh, that's under, under Sarah's leadership, just touching kids, reaching kids each and every day. Congratulations. <clears throat> I'd like to introduce uh, Dr. Brian Merrill, principal of Waller High School. Good evening. It's my honor and privilege to be able to introduce three outstanding educators that had the blessing of getting to interview and immediately upon interviewing them knowing that we had to get them to our campus. So in each of the three cases, they are just phenomenal human beings, incredibly competent, and uh, the minute they hit the campus, they made an immediate difference. So our support staff person of the year is Ms. Brenda Marches. Miss <laughs> Marches works in our life skills unit and uh, she just does an incredible job. As you can tell by her <laughs> smile, each and every day she brings that and not only blesses the students uh, but also our staff. And uh, she has one of the most difficult assignments uh, and does it with such a loving heart. And uh, the parents know that firsthand, and not only do the parents know it, but our general ed population. She does an incredible job of reaching out on the campus and including all kids um, to the point that every Christmas, I'm not sure if she leads it, but she definitely helps uh, in the, the uh, planning of the process. But uh, Life Skills has this uh, ongoing tradition of really uh, having fun in my office. I step off campus for whatever reason, and when I leave, the elf has returned, and my office has never been the same. So there are either marshmallows all over my office, or I have about three foot high shredded paper all over the office. I'm not blaming her, but at the same time, I, I, it's not her. Um, there's a parent in the audience uh, that would probably attest, uh, Ms. Lightfoot could attest it, uh, what an incredible job she does, and, and uh, she could, she'll literally bring tears to your eyes, just how she educates kids. So this is our support person here, our, our lady. I'm going to have Mr. Mike Aaronson come up. He is our Rookie of the Year. Mike is in his second year of teaching, but you, you really, truly wouldn't know that. Uh, he's, you know, one of the things I wrote down, he's incredibly versatile. He teaches ninth grade, on-level English, and then AP English 4. And the versatility that that takes is really just quite remarkable. Uh, taking freshmen and taking seniors and really... Uh, being able to breathe life into both of those disciplines is just is just remarkable. He's a natural. There's a first year teacher. Sometimes you you um, you know you might 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 just have to a little growing up. He he didn't need that at all. The minute that he stepped foot, he was uh, just really doing such an incredible job for us. He was poised beyond his years. Uh, within the first few weeks of school, we knew that we had hired the right guy. And uh, I've, I've joked he does a lot of things on the side. He's a professional referee, and I'm always afraid he's going to leave. Uh, but yet he still makes Waller his home, and uh, we're so very blessed to have him there. And the impact that he has is, is just remarkable. 
uh, for a young man who's only taught two years to be trusted by staff members that have taught 20 and 30 years is, just says a lot for him and, and his family. His mom and dad are here, Mr. Mr. Ms. Arrington, and his brother is here as well. So we appreciate uh, what an incredible job you did with him. So thank you, Mr. Arrington. <laughs> If I didn't say that Ms. March is, uh, was joined by her two lovely daughters today, they're over at Schultz playing volleyball, and so she's got three kids that are that are active in Waller ISD and um, are, are really great kids, to be completely honest, so she's done a great job. Our Teacher of the Year, if I could get Ms. Debbie Wommel to come up, please. We hired Debbie a few years ago, and uh, we stole her from Brunham. <laughs> we, we stole her from Brunham, and, uh, you know, Debbie has, uh, is incredible, to be completely honest. She stepped foot on the campus. She teaches algebra. She'll teach anything I ask her to teach, and uh, sometimes at her detriment. Uh, she'll do ESL. She'll do LPAC. She'll do really anything that I ask, and she does it with such a, a standard and a perfection that well, makes her teacher of the year to be completely honest. And, you know, Debbie recently has, has had just a little bit of some health issues going on. And I can tell you that the campus um, has felt a loss. Um, when she wasn't there, um, and we're going to get her back. I've made that abundantly clear. Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> She's an advocate for her kids and for all kids, and uh, she will come into my office and, and really has such high standards, demand things, and, uh, and ask for things that, um, that they need and will not let me slide on things. And you need people like that on a campus that will look into the hearts of kids and, and consider what's best for them and, and will fight and claw and get them whatever they need. And so I can tell you that I'm a better principal because of her. I'm a better principal because of all three of them. Uh, but Debbie um, raises the standard of the high school, and I'm just incredibly thankful that she's here. So, Debbie. Thank you. Thank you. My husband went home sick. My parents are no longer living. My daughter's out of town. And the dog died last week. So, <laughs> it's just me. And your work family's here to support That's you. right. <laughs> and she still has her sense of humor. Before we move on to the next part, uh, I just want to speak to the uh, Rookies of the Year, the Teacher of the Year, Sports Staff of the Year. Uh, you know, we're just so honored uh, with that you're here, that you choose to uh, help our students and serve our students from Walter ISD. Our family's uh, 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 just blessed uh, with you being here. And I want you to know that uh, all of you are the Teacher of the Year, the Rookie of the Year. Uh, the sports staff of the year, you're all number one in our hearts. Uh, sometimes uh, one person will be chosen, but that one person that will be chosen, uh, after talking to the interview of the committee, I know personally that pieces of points separated uh, all of you. So you're all winners. You all have won. Uh, you all have been recognized by the peers, and that is... Uh, uh, an honor that maybe you don't really know now how big that is, but as you get older, 
And as you, as you get the years behind you, you'll understand really what it means that those that work in the same field that you work into, they uh, have chosen you as their representative, and that really makes a statement. It makes a statement that I'm proud of, I know you're proud of, uh, but I don't know if you recognize that. So from the school district's perspective, uh, maybe one person will be chosen to be the secondary teacher of the year, maybe one, but in all reality, it could be any of you. And it is every one of you. So we're proud of you very much. Remember, support staff of the year, we did not make it a district competition. We just wanted to recognize everybody in that round. But this past Friday on March 4th, uh, we had the opportunity to, to interview uh, rock stars. Those rookies of the year and the teachers of, of the year candidates. Um, they interviewed at the Library of Waller High School. And what a tremendous day that was. Followed by an incredible luncheon sponsored by Houston Oaks. Um, at our luncheon, you can see the, the beautiful picture that Marianne Kosick took out there of that group. Um, and we do thank Houston Oaks for supporting us with that luncheon um, and providing that to our school district. Also, I want to do another thank you for um, the group of people that really helped um, on our selection committee. You can look at the names of all those individuals. Some of those are district members or district um, employees. Uh, some of those are previous teachers of the year. Generally, the person who is the that gets named the teacher of the year this year, guess what? You get to serve on the committee next year. So congratulations on that piece of it. Um, we also then do get to pull in a parent and community member on each level as well that serve on that committee to help us. Did they have homework? Yes, they did. They read every essay that these teachers wrote. Um, but then the toughest part, then they had the interview on March the 4th. Um, and so at this time, I would like to begin with our elementary rookie of the year. And this is kind of a unique one because the person who generally does this happens to be induced today. Okay, Amy Lee, who is our 1516 elementary rookie of the year. Um, Friday, you know, she was at your interviews, right? Right. She was sitting there at the interviews, and we had and we had a buzzword. You know, Ryan Kelly had the buzzword at the table that if she said elephant, we all knew it was time to go to the hospital um, because she was being induced today. And so, thank goodness, she never said elephant, and she made it through the interview. She made it through the meal, and then uh, Jeff Milley, who is our uh, videographer for our district, um, was so kind. She was so passionate. She goes. I want to announce the winner. I want to do it. And I said, well, how are we going to do that when you're being induced on Monday and this is Monday night? But, you know, we're not going to do it from the hospital Skyping. We're not going to do that. Um, and so Jeff was so kind to help us create a video from her to share uh, the elementary rookie of the year. So I'm going to play that real quick. This is a first. And so I thank Jeff for creating this. And so um, they're going to announce on the rookie of the year. Uh, for elementary on this video, and that person, if they hear their name, they're supposed to come forward. They're gonna be like the Price is Right. They're gonna okay. be chosen. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna run. Make sure we had it right. We got it right. And Mr. Right. T is gonna be right over here to give them um, their award. And Bree McCall has <laughs> another award. Thank you for inviting me, Mr. T. I get so excited about things. Um, I get a little excited. I can't tell. Um, and so we're gonna go through this, and I hope I get this started right, Jeff. And if I mess it up. You just need to come let me know. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for coming out to enjoy our wonderful, talented candidates. I would like to announce on behalf of the interview committee our Rookie of the Year for Waller ISD. Congratulations to Melanie Stone from Holloman Elementary. Your resilience as well as your smile captured us. We loved your personal stories, heartfelt responses, and positive outlook. A quote from that you had written had stuck out to me the most. Tell me and I forget, teach me and I may remember, but inspire me and I will learn. You have been an inspiration for your students and we greatly appreciate that. Congratulations again. Over 
And at this time, the next person I'd like to call up is Ryan Kelly, our 2015-2016 uh, Secondary Rookie of the Year to announce our 2016-2017 Secondary Rookie of the Year. Good evening. I, uh, I'm certainly not as photogenic to be on a video tonight, but I've got <laughs> opening the envelope. Uh, thank you to the board and thank you to Ms. Barron for putting this on. Uh, I'm honored to be here. Congratulations to all those sitting here. I'm, I'm blessed to be in such great company. Um, so with, uh, with that being said, the winner of the secondary all our rookie of the year. <laughs> Waller High School, Mr. Mike Aaron. Uh, as our principal, Dr. Merrill, has said, Mike teaches 9th and 12th grade English 1 and AP English Lit and Composition, and he believes that we must prepare students to thrive in a diverse world through mutual respect. And a quote that stuck out with me in his, uh, in his, uh, papers that he wrote so well was he empowers students to have a voice worth listening to through direct comments and subtle affirmations. And uh, Mike, we're always rooting for you too, buddy, so congratulations. So now that we're all emotional, <laughs> that was awesome video. Um, on behalf of our committee, which was the Teacher of the Year Committee, um, I just wanted to say that we were completely inspired by your interviews and your essays. Um, actually, many of us had conversations after the interviews that we wanted to go back in the classroom. We were just so excited. So it was a very, very tight race, very tough competition. We are just so blessed to have each and every one of you in our district. So I'm going to introduce the rest of my committee, or they can introduce themselves, and then Ms. Terrio, the Elementary Teacher of the Year, the current Teacher of the Year, is going to um, open the envelope. Good evening, Teresa Cavazos, ELL coordinator. Gwen Terrio, Charlington Elementary. <laughs> Sheila McInnish, secondary ELA coordinator. And I did say I'm Shelly Olivalde, CT coordinator. Sorry. And this is Ms. Terrio. Gonna open the envelope. I'm very honored to be here and announce this tonight. It's exciting. The Waller ISD Elementary Teacher of the Year is Sharon Kader. Ms. Kaderka, uh, she impressed each and every one of us on the committee with her, her passion, her uh, dedication to the students of her school, and she has a big heart to ensure that all students are successful in them, and we're grateful for you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we, we promised her that we would help her be able to speak into the microphone by lifting her up. That's okay. <laughs> um, we're very nervous and very excited because what an honor it is to be a part of this committee and to be able to meet people that are exceptional in Walmart ISD. I have the great honor of announcing your, look up Jackie, um, our secondary teacher of the year. <coughs> and our secondary teacher of the year is Sarah Binger. <laughs> to a few people and was convinced that she was not going to be emotional in her interview. <laughs> and I think once you start talking about your passion and your love and when you start talking about kids, you just can't help but get emotional. I want to tell you what I know beyond the interview because I'm fortunate enough to spend some time on Waller Junior High's campus. She's a science teacher, which I'm not going to hold that against her. <laughs> But what she does is, is that, as Eric mentioned to you earlier, she'll take on anything. She loves all kids. I am fortunate enough to see Sarah during an advisory period reading to her children, which is not a science thing, but it is an ELA thing. 
and she loves to read. She loves her kids, but the other thing that really sticks out and stuck out to me was that she loves her parents. And the things that she does, not only for her kids, but also for her parents, makes Sarah very special. And we are very fortunate to have her in Walker ISD. Thank you. While they're finishing up the pictures over there, I just want to tell you a little bit about some of the rewards. When you're looking at what um, our Teacher of the Year and Rookie of the Year for the District level are holding, um, that's something that will be complimentary from Kirk Jones Graduation Center. And what those are are images of rings um, that individuals will have made for them to represent and always have that memory. Um, if you've been a, a Rookie of the Year or a District Teacher of the Year, uh, you may wear that ring, maybe on your pinky or whatever finger that you designate to wear it on. But we hope they wear these rings um, with pride and remembrance of the great things that they do in Waller ISD and what a wonderful impact that they have on our students. Um, we plan to present those rings to them. Barbara will probably come around tomorrow or the next day with the ring sizer uh, to get those ring sizes um, and take care of them in that way. Uh, some other thank yous while they're taking the pictures over there, just to make sure that we announce those. We want to thank again Bree McCall with Brazos Valley Schools Credit Union for the, the lovely uh, compliments that they gave to all of our candidates tonight. Um, you know, within that teacher survival pack, I know there's Sonic gift card in there. And so we all love Sonic <laughs> during my mates. Um, and so we can have that way. But I know she also did uh, something extra special for our, our district recipients as well. I want to thank Houston Oaks for sponsoring our luncheon that we held on Friday. And I want to thank Terry Rasmussen with Edgenuity, uh, one of the software programs that we use within our school district for sponsoring our board recognition meal tonight. Um, this has been an incredible night. Like I said, it's the highlight um, of our school district to look forward to this night. I thank you for being here. I thank the parents for being here um, and supporting their children um, as they continue to grow and give to our students within Waller ISD. Once again, please help me applaud all candidates once again and our sponsors.